Hello guys, LEGO Gladiator here with a two-way review. It's both a mock review and a review on what? On themes that LEGO got rid of. Which I wish LEGO would bring back. One. Number one on the list. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have quite a few sets from that line. And they were all perfect sets. I mean, they were not... There was a lot of play value in the sets. I mean, Lego did a huge amount of work on them. Even the Michelangelo sets, which only came with Krang and a foot ninja, and Michelangelo was a perfect set. Now next, number two, Monster Fighters. I got only two sets from that line. The Werewolf set and the Swamp Monster set. Both sets were impressive and fun to play with. In each set though, here's an interesting fact. The motor car part had four handguns on it, which meant you got four. I mean these the Lego builders made used them made them using a bunch of parts that you would probably have a hard time finding that you really like using on your minifigures. And they used parts that were supposed to be weapons. So that was fun to actually take that apart and use the weapons for other figurines. So the whole time I'm building with it, I'm actually taking it apart at the same time. Now, it seems Scooby-Doo hasn't come out for a while, except for in the LEGO Dimensions world, which I'm hoping they come out with another set, and that's number three on the list. Because I know LEGO still owns the license to that. And of course, next up, Chima. Yeah, you guessed it, Chima. The reason why I like Chima so much was because of the animal species you got to play with. You had lions, tigers, bears, eagles. I mean, this was a full list of animals. And later on, mammoths and saber-tooths. I mean, they should have at least made one more, set, few more sets based off the ice clans, the ice tribes, with that were fully healed and re, and cool looking. I would have loved to have had some of the ice cl ice tribes when they were turned back to human like. I mean, when they were turned back to less like zombies. Would love to have gotten like six or seven of those. In human form. I mean, not human form. I mean, non zombified. Either way, they were pretty cool in detail and kind of creepy at some times, but if you were like me, you don't too much get scared of some creepy things. The only thing that still creeps me out is a Five Nights of Freddy building toy set that I saw that kind of freaked me out. A friend of mine bought like all the sets and I got freaked out by it. Because I don't like that series very much. Now let's see, there's another one. Oh yes, now I remember. Clone Wars. Yera. Battle packs need to be brought back. I mean the Clone Wars entirely. Because I don't care what Disney said. Disney is just a... Is just... A bunch of bullies who won't even listen when they realize, hey, this TV show is more popular than Star Wars Rebels. Maybe we should remake and bring back the series and just keep making the series. At least finish the series. But no, they had to do it the other way. They had to completely replace it with a series that was crud. I won't say the bad word because... My mom will probably shoot me if she finds a video with a cuss word in it. But I would say it if if I knew it wasn't a cuss word. Either way, I'm angry at, at them for quitting the Clone Wars. I'm not angry at Lego though because they have they can't really fight with Disney. Another now another series, Hero Factory. Now, none of you will agree with me on the giant robot versions. I'm not talking about the giant ro robot versions. I'm talking about the little minifigure versions. Yes, that's right, the minifigures. 
I never got any of those, but I wanted them. But I never could get to the shelves on time because kids just picked them up like, like bees to honey. So it was never, I never had a chance to go there and pick them up. I looked on e Amazon and eBay, and they're all too expensive for me to buy, so it's actually downharding. So I'm always, like, every time I look at the sets on eBay, I'm like, and I wanted that. That was actually at a time that I was a little down on my luck, either way. Never could get... I did have the money to buy it. I just could never get to the shelves on time. Because kids picked them up so quickly. Another theme. Now, this is a theme I think some of you might agree with. The smaller minifigures of the Bionicles. And I mean the Bionicle building sets. Not the big figure of the building. I meant like the building sets. The small minifigure versions. Those sets were incredibly detailed and would have been a lot more fun to build with because you could build a huge world and it was easy to build because it wasn't giant robots. Now there are versions of Bionicle I would like for them to bring back, like the original way of building the Bionicle figurines. I have a few of the originals and I prefer the originals over the new ones and that's why I haven't bought any of the newer ones because I think the newer ones or crud, crud. I don't really agree with the newer ones, so I ignore the newer ones. They will just go on to dust. They will just turn to dust on the shelves before I buy any of them. Now, on to some other themes. There is another theme I actually miss that is from my five-year-old childhood. Johnny Thunder. The old Johnny Thunder Lego sets. He's come back in one, in minifigure form in the Lego movie sets, but I used to love Johnny Thunder. He was my favorite Lego minifigure of my collection. I've had to put him away somewhere where he won't get destroyed or anything because I've realized it's expensive on eBay now, which kind of confuses me because... He came in almost every set. So it's kind of strange to charge that much for a minifigure who pretty much came in almost all of his sets. Either way, that's about it on that. So I'm going to start on the mock review. As you can see, this I call this the underground. As you can see, there are aliens on top and humans at the bottom. The humans are underground. As you can tell, the aliens are looking for humans to take to their secret mining facilities and such. So the whole entire build is actually based off an alien apocalypse, which is actually much more realistic than a zombie apocalypse. And if you're wondering how they get down there, how the humans get down there, a secret trap door. But it's solidly built so they don't know it's a trap door. The aliens don't even know to look. There's just a, as you can see, there's just a small band of them. As, and if you can look down in the, you can see there's about four human, four humans walking around, pretty much talking, and some even thinking of grabbing a gun. As you can see, there's also explosives. Now, this is a mock I actually just wanted to make for the fun of it. As you can see, it's a... I call it... I call this kind of building cowboy building because it's kind of... It's the same basic principle as a, as a building that you would see in the Old West. There's like a thing over it. Never mind. Either way... If any of you like this design, go ahead and use it, because this design is pretty much, in my eyes, it's neutral, which means anybody can use this design. As you can see, make sure to, if you, but make sure your pattern matches the bricks when you're building. Make sure your pattern that you put on it matches the bricks entirely. I had to mix in a bunch of light gray into that. Well, that's it for today, guys. Comment, subscribe, 
and share the video and let me know in the comments below which theme you agree the most should be returned and brought back to Lego. Until then, see you on my next video.